Leicester's unlikely run to the title has been the story of the season, and on Monday they celebrated on the streets of their city with hundreds of thousands of their fans. And uh, World Sports' Alex Thomas was there to see it. If anyone at Leicester City Football Club thought they were still dreaming, then the din of the trumpets and the cheers heel will have woken them up and convince them that, yes, they really are champions of England's world-famous Premier League. It's arguably the greatest underdog sporting story of all time, and one that you would struggle to explain to an alien from outer space. In fact, you probably would have got shorter odds on the existence of alien life than on Leicester winning this championship at the start of the season. They were odds of 5,000 to 1. But over nine months and 38 matches, they outperformed world-famous teams like Chelsea, Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal, making names for veteran Italian coach Claudio Ranieri and his team of misfits, players like Jamie Vardy, N'Golo Kante and Riyad Mahrez. Leicester's owners are from Thailand, and Leicester will have a growing fan base across the planet. But this is really a family affair. A town used to supporting its very successful Leicester Tigers rugby team, and now Leicester City is falling in love with its football side as well. Around 100,000 have turned out for this open-top bus parade. That's one in three of the local population. If it was London, that would mean almost three million. Even Mike Cavio on the way here said his son has ditched Manchester United and is now a Foxes fan. And he won't be the last one. Alex Thomas, CNN, Leicester.